All right, guys, what's up? Sarah Safari here. I am here with my smaller co-host Bradley Martin. I like how you get to you just have the intros now. Oh, you have the, you can have the intro. No, go ahead. no, I just thought I was no. the clout chaser. I should have the intro. Yeah, no, it's fucking my podcast. <gasps> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. That's Dude, crazy. I know. I'm, <laughs> I know, I'm kidding. I'm fucking kidding. Oh, uh, Sarah Safari. <laughs> but it's funny because I, I, look, we're gonna start this before we get into. I know you have topics lined up. You're a professional today, and I'm not. But I was really like laughing because there was a clip of our last podcast that went a little viral because you, you act like you look like you were mad at I me. I looked like I was pissed, but we had talked about the money right before the podcast yeah. and it's a 50 50 split. Like I know I'm getting paid. Yeah, it's yeah. not, I just thought like, it'd be funny to bring it up. The only issue I had with you was that you, well, you have a thousand things to do, but you suck at setting up the accounts because the accounts are under yours and you just have to, Plug it all in, yeah, you know. Yeah. That's yeah. why, like, we have money sitting there. It's just not. I know it was just a joke. Yeah, it was really funny though. Everyone was like, "That's what happened it's... to his last co-host," and I was like, "Bro, I get paid. I'm not yeah, tripping. Yeah. I know that you're gonna get me." Yeah, yeah. It was funny because Jacob edited it that way too, where he just ended yeah. the clip. Yeah, no. Where it was like you spicy no. and ended. It was funny. It was good. I woke up with two nosebleeds this morning. Yeah, I know. I was waiting outside your gate <sighs> for 15 minutes because. You want to see the towel? No, I don't care. I know you like, had a nosebleed because you sent me a picture. Yeah, nosebleed is f dude. Um, so how are you feeling after Vegas? Feeling good? I'm feeling good. I was down bad a little bit because, you know, whatever. But I feel good. Because, <laughs> you know, whatever. Because whatever. Like, it's I all good. I'm, I was happy. I always, I always leave Vegas positive. I left negative. You I left very negative. I, I lost $10,000. I watched you lose $10,000 in the midst of maybe 30 minutes. No, I was. I think it was faster than that. It was light speed gone. Yeah, it was crazy. I got no luck. Yeah, it was that's bad. A, but that's gambling. No, I don't know. You know, usually, like right before, like right when you're about to quit, that's when you're gonna win okay, big. Okay, stop, stop acting like Steve will do it. Everyone does that. Stop you know, it. Steve gave me some good advice that there's yeah, when you don't winners, quit, you win. and there's quitters. Yeah, that's if you have a ton of money. If you just want to like, if you don't have a ton of money, you're done. Yeah, that's, that's how it true. Works. Like, if you have a giant bankroll, then, of course, if you never quit, like, you can kind of keep playing. Mm -hmm. Like, your chances of coming back are better than if you had, like, a smaller bankroll. That's true. Yeah, of course. That is true. But, I mean, this is just proof that I walked in there with $600 and I left with six racks. Well, didn't you get money given to you? Like... Okay, yeah. Steve gave me, like, no, no, this is, like, not that money that you're thinking of. Oh, so you, you made money. I made money. And... and then... So how much did you start with? I started with six hundred. And then you made how much? Six thousand. From six hundred. Yes, okay. I paid Mike out. I but like it's not fair because Steve did give and me then, a one thousand dollar chip. So Steve gave you. So yeah. Was it on top of your six thousand? No, six thousand with that thousand. So I but I still made a few thousand dollars, like at least. So five. you were given eleven thousand dollars. Ten thousand. Yeah, ten thousand from Dana. Wow. Dana that gave me. He gave me ten thousand dollars for my graduation gift for graduating with my masters. That's wow. $10,000 more than you How many you dollars have. Dana White gave me? How many did he Zero give you? Zero dollars. Oh. <laughs> I don't give a f though. No, no mine was a gift. That's fine, yeah. He's so nice. I've had a, I've, no, I haven't graduated from college. Yeah. Maybe yeah. when you do, he'll also give you yeah, a gift. Yeah, which will never happen. I'll give you a gift, too. Yeah, because it's never going to happen. Really? It I, might I happen. graduated from high school. That's good. Most I, people do. I, I've done other things that are... Yeah, no, I know. You've done very money, admirable money. things. I want $10,000. Okay. Aiden gave me, he paid me back my 10000 That's good. He didn't and pay I you lost. back. You won a bet with Aiden and, and you got $10,000. True. And then I lost it. I'm actually really sad. Yeah, that was the 10000 you gambled with. It was so fast. Speaking of Aiden, did you see Drake's birthday party? Oh, with, with uh, Aaron Paul and... Uh, no, why were there so many like beautiful girls there, and why did I not get the invite? No, I didn't see any of that. I just saw that the the guys from Breaking Bad were bartending. That's all what? I saw. No, there was like this L.A. Drake birthday party where you could like win Rolexes and like I iPads. Just, I saw none of that. I just saw the guys from Breaking Bad were bartending. Oh, that's all I saw on the internet. I don't know. I just that, you saw like hot girls and stuff. Yeah. Wow. I just want to know how I could have gotten the invite to that party. I don't know. Because I want a Rolex. After I tried on um, Cell's Rolex, I want one so bad. Now you're turning bougie? No, is, but like a watch is... is I Sarah's like jewelry. You know arc. I like jewelry. Yeah? And a watch is like jewelry. 
Jewelry is yeah. the one thing I will spend money on because it doesn't depreciate like other things. Like what other things depreciate? I don't know. Like a like cars usually depreciate, yeah. and then like purses. It was a finance lesson. I don't carry. I don't carry like purses or whatever. Some of them, most of them, do depreciate as well. Yeah, unless it's like unless a it's like a Birkin. Birkin bag. Yeah. Give us a finance lesson since you're a college graduate. Um, kids, don't spend your money on OnlyFans. Oh no! You get, you doing that again? They're gonna be so mad at you. Why? Because they're just they're like she always talks about only. Oh yeah. Okay. Never mind. Cut that out. Spend Leave it mon- in. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> spend, spend your money on what? What's better to spend your money on? Um, Appreciating buying, assets. Buying properties is really good, but that's a big. You have to have a good amount of um, money to do that. So maybe instead of that, um, investing it candy? into huh? Candy. No, not candy. Okay. You can learn about stocks, investing it there, high yield savings. Everyone, I think I've talked about this before. If you have money just sitting in the bank, put it in a high yield savings. It's like four point, like some of them are like four point five percent interest you get back. Look into high yield savings. What about like going to the fair and buying like cinnamon rolls? You're a fat. No, I'm just saying cinnamon rolls hit. Yeah, but that's not like an appreciating asset. I'm telling you, I appreciate that asset that I just ate. (laughs) You know, I appreciate <laughs> bars. Well, no, I'm just saying I would appreciate that moment. And be like, whoa, I'm yeah, appreciating no, this. I'm not saying I'm. Yeah, enjoy. Can't we spend our money on frivolous bullshit? You can, just but be I'm human. But also save some of it as well. Mm. We're not all we're not all printing Snapchat money. You say it like you don't do it either. Stop touching the bottom of your shoe. Oh, that's disgusting. This is the, but it's, these are my house shoes. It doesn't matter. No, they're not. I've seen them. I'm, I'm Japanese. I've... I'm turning Japanese now, for real, actually. I have house shoes. I was going to make a joke, shoes. but I didn't. What's the joke? Nothing. Wait, what's the I joke? I made it last podcast about Japanese. I'm trying to oh, get Oh, Japanese? Just, 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 oh, my God. You're, you're, we're leaving that. We're leaving that for real. Yeah. I think you got to let go of that for good. I'm going to. Yeah, I don't think it's a... No, but I think everyone should... Enjoy your money, but also save a good amount of your money. I've been saving. I remember I've been saving money since I was 11 years old. Christmas money, birthday money, whatever. When I turned eight, 17 or 18, I had enough to buy a car. I remember this about you. Like I saved every, like I for Christmas, birthdays, whatever. I would only ask for cash. I would save it. I would save quarters and then roll them. Where would you like, put it? I think I'd give them to my mom and my mom had um, a custodian custodial account in the bank like i wouldn't just keep cash in my room i'd give it okay. to my mom and she'd put it in my like bank account custodial account because she's like older like because i was oh, under I 18 i see custody I thing yeah i see but i would like even roll like um change i would roll change i would keep any money i made and then when i turned 17 i bought a car That's pretty all dope. of my money went to a car how much money was that I think it was twenty thousand. Damn. But I saved twenty thousand dollars from the time I was eleven to seventeen. What were you doing? How were you earning money when you were eleven? No, I'm saying birthdays, Christmases. Like, oh. You know, like instead of getting a gift, like my so grandma. So you're not like would... Gary V, like paper route, like you know. Huh? You're not like paper route girl. No, I didn't. I would, I would like tutor. I'd babysit. What were you tu- What were you teaching people? I would teach kids math. I love math. Numbers. Are you can... actually good at math? Yeah, numbers can never be wrong. It's actually true. It's accurate. You know what can be wrong? What? Me? Yeah. True. You. No, but I loved I loved math. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I just was reminiscing on when I would like. It's weird because like when I was tutoring, I'd have other hardships. It would be hard for me to like balance time to do my own work and then help kids with work, right? And then now I have like it's like a different type of hard like. In the moment, I thought that was so hard, and now I'm like... What were the things that were hard then? Balancing time. I mean, I guess I always... Right now, I have an easier time balancing um, my time because I'm done with school, but um, like when I would have to balance time then, I thought it was like the end of the world because I was like, I don't have enough like hours in the day to do to do everything I need to do and also like work and make money or whatever, and now it's like, I don't know. What are the hardships now? They're honestly minuscule compared to what they were then, and I make them into such big things now, as yeah. you and Jacob both know, because yeah. of our group chat. But I need to like pipe down. Yeah, <laughs> you're learning though. I'm learning. Yeah. Yeah, it's all. It's a part of it. It's all learning. It's interesting because it's like I was watching some stuff, and then I saw some other stuff yesterday with like 
it's so weird that I'm even talking about this because I'm on the internet, like just on Twitter and shit. Jack Doherty, bodyguard, punched some guy. <gasps> yeah, all this really? stuff. But I'm watching all this now, and I'm like, I had I did a podcast with academics for Raw Talk before I left Vegas, and uh, he was like, it's only a matter, like literally we're in this podcast, he's like, it's a matter of time before like someone just does some like really reckless shit. And that, like that's not exact, that's, that was reckless what happened, the guy punching like the random guy. Um which is funny because it's one of my buddies who was the bodyguard. <laughs> but really? Yeah. Long story short, that's a that's a version of what's re- reckless. But we were talking how like someone's gonna do something crazy reckless, like for a live stream. Yeah. Um, and like it's kind of already trending in that direction. He and I were talking about it, like because it's it's all just it seems like vlogs back in the day, like four years ago, when everyone's like trying to do crazier and crazier things, and it's gonna get to the point where like at that point. That's when like Logan Paul did the super thing, you know, because yeah. like they were doing daily vlogs for so long, they were just going crazy, crazier and crazier every day. Um, it must have been longer than four years ago now. But regardless, like this live streaming era right now reminds me of the same thing. Yeah, it's really interesting because it's all competition too. At the end of the day, it's like, oh, that was a good stream. How can I make it better? And what I was gonna say in regards to that was like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, man, this is like f-ing reality TV. It is. That's why. They- it's so good. You get invested into people and their lives and the people they're talking to or the people they yeah. have around. But I think people don't have a, obviously, just like, you know, any old reality TV, like people don't really understand the full pictures of things. And they just kind of get caught up and swept away and like, yeah, this is happening, that happening. But it's like, it's really not all that serious. It's not. I. It's not that deep. But it's what, what you see on the inter, uh, internet. It's like your perception. Yeah. Automatically goes, you know. However you want it to. Do you still want to be a live streamer? Because um, we talked about it's so funny. Like, like that pod was before all like the nonsense. Yeah. The, our last podcast. Yeah. Was and everyone shot. was like, and everyone was like, this is, this is about this. I was like, dude, what's happening? Yeah. Pretty funny. Yeah. Um, do I still want to live stream? I want to live stream, but in a way that it's more um, chill, I guess. Like, I don't want to revol- Like, you know, you went to Japan to live stream. Yeah. For me, I'd want to live stream if I was already going to Japan. I wouldn't want to make plans revolving around the live stream. I'd want to live stream the plans that I already have. Yeah, I guess it's tough because that's, I feel like we've always just kind of done things and made plans around kind of content. Yeah. Even, even whether it's live stream or YouTube or podcast, it's like that's what all my travel has been in all my years of doing any of this has been based around the content. True. Really, which I, I don't know if it's necessarily a good thing because – there's definitely moments in there where I'm like, man, when's the last time I've like just done something for myself? Huh. I can't remember. Yeah, but you also kind of are extreme with it. Yeah, yeah, I know. And you have a thousand like things. Extreme, you know? Right? No? Okay. Sorry. Continue. Go ahead. You also have like a thousand things to do, so it's different. Like you own like several businesses and you have a different things like, you know, to do. For yeah. me, it's just like. Just Don't be a lazy Kind of. No, I'm saying like for, for me, it's like, you know, that guy has like a lot of reasons to be busy. Yeah. He was kind of like, you don't even go to school anymore. Well, it's not like you're saying it like I dropped out of school. Like you don't even go to school anymore. No, no, you've completed it. Congrats. And now it's like, yo, get to work. 